Hi, I'm Carolyn Forster and I'm sharing hints and tips that I talk about during my classes. So previously we talked about how to hide the knot at the beginning of our hand quilting, whether that's big stitch or fine hand quilting. And now we're going to show you how to hide the knot at the end of your quilting line of stitches. So you need to allow enough thread to do this. So don't wait until you're at your right last inch because you won't have enough thread to make the knot. So in this case I'm going to stop a couple more stitches and what you want to do is you want to place the needle through to the back of the quilt, pull it through all the way to the back and then come up at the beginning of that stitch you just made. Now you can wind the thread around the needle. So I've got the thread closest to me and the needle is furthest away. And I'm gonna wind the thread two or three times. In this case, it was three times around the needle. And then hold the thread on the needle. And the needle itself now, you can see the thread wound around it. I'm gonna the end of the needle is going to go through just the fabric and the wadding that's behind the stitch. So don't go through the stitch and don't go through either end. You just want to go through right in the middle and you can push the needle a needle's length away and you can see you've got a knot. You pull that knot, smooth it out and then tug hear that pop there and then you have made a little stitch that's behind your big stitch and your thread can be snipped away. There we go and that's hidden the, um, the knot in the wadding.